Bang! It's a quack pack, guys! What on earth is a quack pack, I hear some of you cry? Well, this was sent to me by the good people over at Numskull Designs. Way back in February of this year, they got in touch and said, Hey, uh, we really like your channel, we really like the way you do stuff. Would you be interested in taking a look at our Sonic the Hedgehog themed Tobbs figures? And I said, sure, I'll take a look at them. And then the global lockdown happened, and lots of stuff got delayed and paused, so it's now the 1st of August, and here we are! So yeah, um, these turned up a couple of days ago, so we're going to take a look at them now, and I'm going to tell you what I think about them. So yeah, let's get opening! Alright then, so here we go, opening the Quack Pack. I love that, Quack Pack. And uh, yeah, oh, here we are! So we got a Sonic figure, and who's the other one? Hey, we've got a Dr. Eggman figure as well. Now, I think I just caught something else, uh, a glimpse of something else in there, actually. So, oh, yes, there is. Oh, there's two things. There's two things. So, we've got, um, let's see, what have we got here? So, this looks like a USB drive. I'm guessing this is probably going to be press assets. So, you know, stuff like uh, officially taken promotional photos, stuff like that. And we've got a card. And, oh, there's something on it. Okay, um... Oh, I'm probably going to have to blur some of this because there's actually some emails and contact information here, so yeah. Um, hi there! We're big fans of what you do, so we decided to send you something to celebrate the announcement of Tobbs, the official line of highly collectible figures that look like little rubber ducks. Tobbs are based on series such as... All of these! <laughs> hey, that's nice of them. At least somebody likes what I do. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, let's... um. Let's uh, let's actually take a look at the figure. We've got a we've got a little Sonic duck. Oh, look at him! He looks so cute in there. Oh, he looks adorable. And we've got a Doctor Eggman duck as well. Now, some of you that are already sort of thinking, hey, wait a minute, isn't there some more figures in that series? I thought there was a uh, Knuckles and Tails. Well, yes, <laughs> there is because they sent me a second package with the other ones in. So yeah, um, let's take a bit of a closer look at them. Okay, so here we are a little bit closer and we can take a much better look at these before we go into detail on each one of them individually. Sonic and Eggman, they've been out for a while now, but I believe the Knuckles and the Tails figure, they've only just been released, so they're probably not available in stores right now, but they probably will be very, very soon. I've kind of given these figures a little nickname, so we've got Sonic, aka Gotta Go Quack, We've got Dr. Eggman, or Ductor Laden Eggman, as I'm calling him. And we've got Knuckles, Duckles, as I think he should be called. And of course, we've got DuckTales. DuckTales! Is that going to play every single time I say DuckTales? Because I... Okay, fair enough. Let's take a much closer look at these, and we're going to do something a little bit different to my traditional unboxings right now. So, let's go! Okay, so let's just get the basics out of the way first. There are currently four Sonic figures in the Tubbs line. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles and Eggman. In terms of packaging, it's pretty much universal for the entire Tubbs brand. One thing I really like about these figures is that each one of them comes in something that looks like a classic bathtub. It even has feet on it. I love this little detail. It just gives the whole item a unique sense of character instead of just a generic box like other pop culture figures. So let's take a closer look at the Sonic figure. Let's get the obvious out of the way. It's a duck. You might think this looks a bit odd, but it's not the first time there's been official merch like this. Some of you might be familiar with the old Bear Brick Sonic figure. So a figure based on a duck isn't that strange, all things considered. But what's it actually like? My initial reaction to this figure was that they'd done a really good job. Considering this figure is priced at the same level as other pop culture figures, I don't see any paint errors, and they've even included small details, like the nostrils that you actually find on a duck's bill. The figure mimics Sonic's classic finger-wagging pose, and I love how they've gone about incorporating Sonic's design into that of the duck. Check out the spikes. They've incorporated the duck's tail, so it actually looks like Sonic's tail spike. It's really clever and really good. And let's be honest, here. 
It's just a cute and adorable design. Anyway, let's move on to Eggman, or Dr. Layden Eggman as I call him. So I said I was impressed with the detail on Sonic. Well, I've got to say, I think that in terms of detail, the Eggman figure might actually be better. There are a few tiny paint errors on the white parts of his jacket, but I'd be amazed if there weren't any, considering the design and the price point of this figure. But that said, they've really captured Eggman well. His moustache has been designed in a way that makes it look like it actually has some hair texture, and he also looks quite mean. Especially when compared to the Sonic Duck, it's the eyebrows that make him look angry. It's another really nice nice touch and bit of detail, but everything about the Eggman figure is great. The glasses and even the goggles look really good. And yes, they even made his black trousers into the tail of the duck. Now this might be my favourite figure of the set, just down to the detail alone. But anyway, let's check out... DuckTales. <laughs> so like with the Sonic and the Eggman figure, the Tails figure is pretty good in terms of quality. There is one flaw on the eye, but it's not that noticeable. And I have to be honest, I'm actually struggling with what to say on this one, because unlike the Sonic figure, who actually has a pose of sorts, Tails is just a bit static and boring. Given his limited design in that he doesn't wear any clothing, this one does look a little bit basic. But on the positive side, it is really odd how despite this being a little rubber duck, it actually still resembles Tails as being a fox. I'm pretty sure that this time it's the ears and Tails' muzzle under the duck's beak that gives it that effect. Of course, Tails as we all know has two tails, and I love how they've done this. They've actually incorporated the duck's actual tail into Tails is two tails. It doesn't look too bad and it's a really unique take on the design. One really cool aspect about this figure is due to the colouring, if you actually hold it up to the light it gives the duck this really cool orangey glow. But I think that honestly this is my least favourite of the Sonic figures in this line so far, just because of how limited it feels. It doesn't have a unique pose and it also lacks detail, especially when compared to the Eggman. There's just no contest. But let's move on to Knuckles or Duckles as I call him. This was one really cool looking figure. Much like Tails, it's odd how it looks both like Knuckles' Echidna design and also a little duck at the same time. It's something to do with the shape of the eyes this time. Like the majority of the figures, I wasn't able to find any paint errors on this one, which is pretty good. One thing that I do think looks a bit odd is the... what is that actually called? The white thing around Knuckles' neck. It looks a bit too low on the figure, especially when compared to Knuckles' actual design. I think it should be a little bit higher up. But they've given him Knuckles' dreadlocks and actually given him a proper pose of sorts by having the duck wings come out in front, so it looks like he's clenching a fist. So I really like this one. I'd probably like this one a little bit more than the Tails figure, just that it has a little bit more effort put into it in that Knuckles is actually striking a pose in this one. And when you actually look at the tail, they've made a pretty good attempt to even emulate the actual tail of Knuckles into the duck's design. I think this one is slightly better than Tails, but my favourite figure in the set has to be the Eggman right now. So overall, what do I think of these? Well, despite how odd they may look, I actually really love these little figures. I really do like it when companies try to do something different outside of the typical brand approved poses or brand approved designs, and this is certainly that. Considering these are priced at the lower end of the collectible scale, around the same price of a Funko Pop or certain kid robot figures, Numskull's Tubbs line is actually pretty competitive. They're equally detailed, and in some cases actually more detailed than other rival pop culture figurines. And that extra bit of detail about how all the ducks are in a bathtub when you actually buy them, that's a really nice touch. So anyway, if you want a figure that's a little bit different to the usual suspects of pre-approved designs, this is a really unique take, and the quality is also not that bad for what you actually pay. But anyway, what do you guys think? I would love to know your thoughts on these, and if they do continue to make Sonic figures in this line. Personally, I'd really like a Werehog and a Gamma figure. Maybe even a Chaos Duck figure. That'd be cool. Well, since Numskull is probably going to check on this video, why don't you guys flood the comments with what other Sonic Duck designs you'd love to see, and who knows, maybe they'll actually take some notes and we'll get a... Ooh, we might get a Metal Sonic Duck figure, that'll be cool. Or a Big the Cat. Big the Quack! Big the Quack figure, that would be cool. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe and the bell notification button, and I'll see you all next time.